Hello again, everybody. I'm here to show you a video on the 10 most valuable 8-track tapes in my collection. Now, I don't have a whole lot of 8-track tapes. I have mostly vinyl cassette tapes and CDs, but I do have a few, and here are 10 of the most valuable ones. And we'll start with Bootsy Collins uh, from Funkadelic and his band Bootsy's Rubber Band with their album Bootsy, Player of the Year. Yes, and it's totally factory sealed, mint condition, beautiful copy of this 1978 album release. And the cool story about this is that I bought this at a flea market in 2016. Um, and uh, it was just a month or two before Bootsy was going to be showing up in uh, my area of North Carolina, in Durham, North Carolina, at a festival called the Moog Fest. And he was there with other special guests like Mark Mothersbaugh of Devo, uh, DJ Lance Rock from Yo Gabba Gabba, and they all performed on stage. And anyway, I was able to meet him. So knowing that he was coming to town, uh, and I was at this flea market, the guy who was selling these had multiples of them, all sealed. So I bought two. I think I paid $5 each for them. And my plan was to give one to Bootsy, and I did actually get to give one to Bootsy himself. And here's a picture of me and Bootsy on that day in 2016. He was super nice. Uh, they say that they have this uh, sealed cassette on display in their home now. So, yeah, Bootsy Collins rules. Uh, if you wanted to get this in this condition, wouldn't set you back too much. I think you could probably get a sealed or very mint copy of this for 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, not the most valuable, but certainly has a very cool story. Now, next up is a favorite of mine since I was a kid, Diary of a Madman by Ozzy Osbourne. This came out in 1981, and as you can see, this cassette here, this 8-track cassette cartridge is in really good shape considering. Uh, a lot of times you'll find these with a whole bunch of wear and wrinkles and and stuff, but this is really nice. And if you wanted to find one of these online in this condition, you may be penny, paying about 30 bucks or more for it. Yep, great album there, Diary of Madman. I know these songs like Nursery Rhymes in my head. Nursery Rhymes, I've heard them so much. Now this next one, off into a different direction here of uh, new wave synth pop stuff, is Duran Duran's Rio album. And this is a very sought after eight track by Duran Duran fans. This came out in 1982, again, Alt, ultra nice condition. I mean, very little wear or signs of age. This would probably set you back 50 bucks or more if you wanted to try to find this in this condition. Duran Duran's Rio album. And next, another favorite album of mine since I was a kid. A beautiful, completely sealed, mint copy of Kiss Alive 2. A two, eight-track set. You'll see the industry drill hole here in the, uh, in the spine through the shrink wrap. Uh, yeah, and so when I usually see these online in this sealed condition, they usually have like some kind of price tags or record store stickers on them. And, but this is in such amazing condition that I would say that if you wanted to buy this online in this condition, probably set you back at least 50 bucks, maybe up to 80 or more. Uh, but yeah, really nice uh, specimen here of the Kiss Alive 2 double eight track from 1978. Coming up, another 70s classic here, Funkadelic Free Your Mind album from 1970 with a very cool cardboard slipcase. And as you can see, everything is in like beautiful condition, very few signs of age or wear, uh, just amazing. So if you wanted to get this funk classic in this condition on 8-track, you'd probably be playing, paying 60 bucks or more for something like that. And coming up now, my good friend Thor, the rock warrior from Canada with his album Keep the Dogs Away from 1977. Now this 8-track is very difficult to find. A uh, nice brown plastic shell here. In fact, if you look on Discogs, uh, you'll see that this actual tape that I'm holding in my hands here is the one pictured on Discogs because you can tell the uh, exact markings of wear and damage there, but... It's the only copy I've, I've ever seen of it. Uh, looks like only three people on Discogs own it. It's never been sold before. I would say that this would go for between $60 and $100, even in this condition. There's some great glam, early heavy metal stuff. If you're not familiar with Thor, look this up. Keep the dogs away. Moving right along, we have this beautiful, beautiful version of Ramones' Road to Ruin album on 8-track. Look how nice of condition this is. Beautiful blue, 
case. This came out in 1978. Uh, you know, the uh, godfathers of uh, New York punk, you know, and so very highly sought after, especially in this condition. You can expect to pay $70 or more for this Ramones 8-track uh, in this similar condition. Super cool, though. Beautiful. Moving right along, my favorite band in the world, Devo, with a very rare 8-track. Oh, no, it's Devo. This is the Columbia House Club version. This is in super fantastic shape. This is one of the first things I ever bought on eBay many, many years ago. Um, always look for this. Really hard to find. You could expect to pay $100 or more, especially in this condition. There is one listed on eBay right now for $250, but uh, no record of it selling for that ever uh, on eBay or Discogs as far as what I can tell. But yeah, this 1982 synth pop classic by Devo. Oh, no, it's Devo. Beautiful, uh, beautiful near mint copy here. So yeah, over a hundred bucks for that, I'm sure. Now, rounding this out for the last two, Kraftwerk, Autobahn, a very hard to find, blue shell, eight track tape, and as you can tell, very nice condition. This was originally released in 1977. And um, if you wanted to find this, Kraftwerk, synth pop legends, uh, very early album on eight track, you'd probably be paying between 150 and $200 for something in this beautiful condition. So take that. And now the last one, Kraftwerk again. This is their Ralph and Florian album, originally released in 73, but this version on 8-track is a reissue from 1975. However, it's totally sealed, mint condition, factory shrink wrap, and uh, wow, you never find it like this if you find it at all. So this here, in my opinion, and according to... Uh, what I found online, you would be paying $200 or more for a Kraftwerk Ralph and Florian 1975 8-track like this if you wanted to add it to your collection. So, super cool. So, I have showed you 10 of the most valuable 8-tracks in my collection. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel, and I hope you come back for more videos like this. I also stream live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Thumbs up on the video if you can, and we'll see you next time.